welcome to a new video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and today we are finally doing my lip product declutter. When it comes to lip products, I definitely have a slight problem, just about as bad as it does when it comes to my eyeshadow palettes. As you can see here, I have several different trays full of lippies, and I also pulled out all my lipsticks from all my different nooks and crannies. So it's definitely a lot of lipsticks. And even though I did do a declutter last year, which I will link that in the cards for you guys, as you can see, my collection has definitely grown to size quite a bit since last year's declutter, including this ginormous PR package of lippies that, of course, is probably going to be the first thing I'm going to share with you guys just to get it out the way. So if you want to see how many lip products I'm about to declutter, then just make sure to keep on watching. But you guys, before we get into this, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more, make sure to stop right now and like it. And if you want to see more content from me, then make sure you're subscribed. I put out content weekly, so you don't want to miss out on all the fun. Also, make sure to check the down bar for all my other links to all my other social media platforms. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop on in and start decluttering some of these lippies. Make it last forever. Stop inside. So this was definitely not an easy task to go through and pull out all of my different lipsticks from all of the different places that I store them. But it's definitely time to go through and declutter some of these. I mean, this is definitely borderline obsessive and excessive at its finest. I definitely have more than any one person could ever need or ever use. I know that there's probably a lot of them in here that have expired or I just obviously won't reach for or can't reach for because I just have so much. I will go ahead and pop up a disclaimer on the screen. If you wanna pause the video, go ahead and take a second to read that. I don't know the exact count of lippies that I have here, but what I will try and do is count at least as I go through and once at the end I have the piles of declutter and keeps, I'll try to go ahead and count them that way. Also, if you notice that it might look a little brighter, I do apologize at the start of the video, I forgot to turn on my lighting, so hopefully it's a little more clearer for you guys. And I'm already sweating because I can't put my fan on because of the microphone, it'll pick it up and it'll be real muffled so this is going to be a task nonetheless because I'm already sweating but I'm not going to go through every single one of these but I definitely will do my best to try to show you as many as I can so per usual the ones that I'm going to declutter are going to go over on this side and the ones that I'm going to keep are going to go somewhere whether it's up here or up there I might do a key a declutter over here and keep up top here so let's just go ahead and hop right on in this is so over overwhelming. I have so many lipsticks here. I honestly don't even know where to start. So we're just going to dive on in straight from the top and right from the top of the pile here. I have three of the Huda Beauty lipsticks. Now these are some of my favorite formulas. I absolutely love Huda Beauty's lippies and just Huda Beauty brand in general. And I have the shades Girls Trip, Buttercup, as well as Empress. And these are two from her new Cream Glow collection. So these are really stunning shades. They're very hydrating on the lips. And this is her regular matte shade and they're just gorgeous. She makes some beautiful tones of lipsticks. So I'm definitely gonna be, go ahead and keep all three of my Huda Beauty lippies. I think I have more along the way, but we'll get to those as we get to those. I'm definitely keeping all three of the Huda Beauty lippies. I'm gonna try to start down here and clean up these around the bins first, and then we'll kind of go into the bins. Up next, I have these three from Flower Beauty, one in the shade Wildberry, one in the shade Coral Crush, and one in the shade Peachy Nude. These are really great formulas. I do really enjoy these and do get some good use out of them. 
especially this shade is beautiful for the fall and winter months. I would like to hold on to the shade Wildberry for sure. This shade Coral Crush is not actually as coral as I was hoping it would be. I mean, it is pretty, but it leans more on the pinky side. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter the shade Coral Crush. And then for Peachy Nude, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a peachy nude shade, just what it says it is. For now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and also hold on to a Peachy Nude. So I'm gonna keep two and declutter one. Up next, we have this. This is just a lip balm. Now I have so many lip balms. This was sent to me in PR. It's just a very creamy, hydrating lip balm. So because I just have so many balms, I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it. Up next, I have these two fun colors from Makeup Revolution. One in the shade Enchant and then another in the shade Vice, which is this real pretty orange shade. I was gonna say purple and orange together. And as you can see, the other ones are like a real pretty like lavender shade, but they're just not the best on pigmentation. I do like this orange one just because I don't have a whole lot of like orange lipsticks. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter the shade Enchant and then hold on to the shade Vice. So declutter, keep. Now, obviously you guys know I'm gonna probably keep more than I'm gonna declutter, but I am gonna try my best to declutter as many as I possibly can. Up next, we have three of these Alame Lip Vibes. I'm really sorry, the focusing is gonna be quite a struggle because it wants to constantly pick up on all this action going on behind the lippies, so please bear with me. But I have the shades Be Fearless, Worry Less, and Go Wild. And these are actually really, really good lipstick formulas. They're just, you know, your typical bullet lipstick formula, but I do really enjoy them, especially this shade, this Be Fearless is such a fun, creamy color for the summer and spring months. Now these two are very similar, except the shade Worry Less is a bit of a more cooler tone shade and Go Wild is just like a very bare nude shade, as you can see. So I think I'm gonna go ahead, hold on to Be Fearless because I really enjoy that shade. And then actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Go Wild and keep Worry Less just because I don't have many cool tone lippies. So I will keep the Worry Less. Up next, we have two from Maybelline New York, one in the shade Hot Sand and the other in the shade Peach Buff, which are actually <laughs> two really beautiful shades. I know the shade Hot Sand I picked up on Laura Lee's recommendation because it's like one of her favorite nude colors. It is rather light, but it's it's a really pretty lightening shade for the inner portion of your lips. And then the shade Peach Buff is just, again, another like peachy nude shade. I just love Maybelline's lippies. So I am gonna go ahead and hold on to both of these for now. The formula still seems to be good and I really enjoy these. Up next, we have one of these soft matte lip creams from NYX, and I do really like the formula of this one. Very soft and creamy on the lips, and it's literally the only one that I have, so I will hold on to it. Up next, we have the shade Bear Affair from Revlon, and this was such a fan favorite a few years back. It's a beautiful nude shade, and it's still very good. The formula, very creamy. Gonna go ahead and continue holding on to her. And then down here, last on the bottom here is three from Huda Beauty. And you guys already know how I feel about Huda. I love her brand. I love the formula of her lippies. These are gorgeous. The formula's still great. This one's in the shade Heartbreaker. This is Venus and this is Slay All Day. And I do surprisingly get a lot of use of the, out of these. So they're almost gone actually. So I should be able to finish these hopefully by next year's declutter. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to them. Okay, moving right along. Now we're gonna go ahead and start on this little basket over here to the side. I'm gonna start picking out from here. So I'm trying to grab a couple at a time so that that way the video isn't gonna be a couple thousand years long for you guys. <laughs> so right from the top here, I picked up these two NARS lippies, which actually this one is like a bomb. It's just a clear base bomb. I got it as a birthday gift from 
Sephora thinking it was going to be a beautiful brown shade, but it's just a bomb, so I'm going to let it go. And then up next is this lipstick in the shade Toledo, or however you pronounce that. <laughs> it's really pretty nude shade. And as you can see, it's actually having a little bit of a difficulty coming off when I rubbed it. Well, actually, it's working quite nice now. Like, do I need it, you guys? No. So I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it. I have so many shades in this color already, and the formula was kind of going off as I just swatched it on my hand. So I'll let it go. And then I also have this little mini from Anastasia. Now last year I decluttered the rest of this collection and I just kept this one because it is a really pretty brownie nude shade. It's in the shade Coconut and I do quite like the formula so I will go ahead and also hold on to this one. And then now this one is a little mini from Bite that I was trying to pan for a while there. And for a mini, this like has been lasting me quite a while. It's beautiful fall tone and I love Bite's formula. It's in the shade Chai, so I will go ahead and hold on to that as well. Up next, I have these three and one from Elia. These are just little mini Dose of Colors lip glosses. I won these in a giveaway, but as you can see, I went ahead and sped it up and swatched them out. Now these two are actually very similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the lighter one, which is the shade Angel, as well as I'm gonna keep the brown one. I really like it. Naughty, I'm gonna keep. And then the shade Dress Up, I'll keep. And this Ilya Only You lip balm is so creamy and beautiful, so I'm gonna keep it as well. I mean, they're just many, so I feel like I can use them up a little faster. Up next, I have these three minis from Pat McGrath, but I don't know if you guys seen it as I was speeding it up there, that they are kind of like changing color on the tube a little bit, as you can kind of see right there. So I don't know if that means that they are going bad. I mean, I did get these for uh, a birthday gift two years ago, so I'm just going to go ahead and declutter them. This is just a really nice creamy lip balm from Versed. It's a skin slip tinted lip oil and I do enjoy it. I'll keep that as well as the Tarte Maracuja. This is in the shade Orchid. These are amazing. I mean, of course, these have gone viral for a very good reason. They're so hydrating, so creamy. And this is the only one that I do own. I will go ahead and hold on to it as well. This is the MAC Velvet Teddy. I absolutely love MAC and I don't have many of their lipsticks, so I'm gonna keep that. This is a really pretty crushed foil lip gloss from L'Oreal. As you can see, it's got a beautiful shine and the formula is still okay, so I'm gonna continue to hold on to her. Up next, we have a brand new Where's My Limo from Christian Audette. Now you guys know, if you, ha if you don't know, I did make my own lipstick funnel with Christian Audette this year, which was so very exciting. I'll put that video in the cards for you guys. So I have quite a few over here, if you guys can see them. And this is brand spanking new, it's a backup of Where's My Limo, it's my favorite. I'll show you the opened one so that you can get an idea of how beautiful this shade is. It's like my favorite go-to lipstick that I wear all the time. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and keep all of my Christian Audette lipsticks. I just cannot get rid of any of them because it was such a huge honor to me to work with the brand. But what I'll do is I'll speed it up and kind of swatch these out so that you guys can see them and possibly uh, put some shade names on the screen for you guys.
Okay, so now we're back in this basket. I'm just gonna start reaching for some. We have a couple here from e.l.f. And though these are really pretty, I just don't reach for them. I do really wanna keep possibly this darker shade. This is in the shade Cider, and this one is in the shade Nectar, but I just don't really reach for them too often. So even though I wanna keep one of them, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually declutter both of those. Two more from Maybelline, one in the shade Chocolate Lust, and the other is in the shade Honey Pink. Chocolate Lust is a really great fall time shade. Now with fall is officially here, I'm gonna keep Chocolate Lust, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let go of Honey Pink, just because I don't really use it, so. Up next is this brand spanking new e.l.f. Prismatic Lip Gloss in the shade Topaz. It's brand new. It's never been open, but I'm just going to go ahead and actually let it go. This is a backup of the Sen Nudes from Wet n Wild that I actually really, really love. So I'll go ahead and hold on to it. We have this NYX. This is the Shine Loud lipstick, but I don't really wear it. I don't really care for the formula, so I'll go ahead and let it go. We have one from, another one from Wet n Wild, Caught You Naked. It's just a very light shade, so I'll go ahead and declutter it. Another one from Maybelline. This is in the shade Nude Lust. Now, I got a bunch of these when I was on a nude kick there for the longest time. As you can see, that is just so light on me. You can't even see it on my skin tone, so I will go ahead and declutter it. So as you can see, I have three more of the Wet n Wild cat suits. Now these were so fun and they are such a great formula. I do really like all three of these for one reason or another. I just basically at this point, swatching them out to just make sure the formula is good on them and that they're still holding up to par. So actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and let go of this shade. This is the shade Peach Stole My Look, and I'll keep these two. We also have another one. This is Mauve Over, and it's a mauve lipstick. I'm actually going to keep that one too, because if it'll focus, it's a really pretty cool tone mauve lipstick, and I don't have any mauves. Surprisingly, out of this ginormous collection, I don't have any mauve lipsticks, so this is really the only one I have. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it. I have another one. This is in the shade Chick Got Real. The names are so freaking cute. And it's a beautiful pinkish shade. I'm gonna hold on to it. Now I am gonna go ahead and let go of these two. These are the Sweet Cream from Jordana. Sadly, Jordana went out of business, so you can't repurchase these. And they are looking, oh no, they're actually really good still. <laughs> I was gonna say they're looking a little bit questionable, but surprisingly they're actually still in really good condition let me smell they still smell really good really sweet and everything actually i'm going to keep this one i'm going to keep creme brulee and i'll get rid of buttercup so keep that one declutter that one Okay, back into this bin. We're gonna go ahead and focus on some more from in here. I have quite <laughs> a bunch in here, but they're just kind of pulled out from everywhere. This is from Base Blue Cosmetics. Look at how beautiful the packaging is on that. It's absolutely stunning. And it's a brown lipstick, which I don't have many of. And the formula is like this whipped, velvety, buttery, smooth, uh, texture and consistency. It's just really pretty. Packaging gets me every time. It just looks great sitting out on my vanity, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to her. This is from Rose Company Cosmetics. It's a beautiful gloss. It was sent to me in PR. It's beautiful, shiny, great formula and consistency. I really want to keep it just because I want to support my girl, so I'll continue holding on to her. Of course, my Patrick Ta gloss is not going anywhere absolutely love his formula on pretty much everything he makes so i'm keeping these three are the brand new lip balms from urban decay that they went ahead and sent over to me i have the shades pleased pda as well as cuffed up and they are great liquid lipstick formula absolutely love these they're brand new and i'm definitely gonna go ahead and hold on to those 
as well as my two from Merit Beauty. These are their signature lipsticks, one in the shade Lavenue and one in the shade Baby. These are beautiful, creamy formula. Love these, holding on to those. But I'm gonna have to start getting rid of some more eventually because my declutter pile is looking a little weak over here, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Like for example, this is one from Kim Kardashian, Kim K, this is nude 1.5, but for whatever reason, it's starting to like leak outside of the side of the packaging. If I can get it to focus there, it's like leaking everywhere and it's a mess. So I don't even want to throw this over here because it's going to leak. It's already started leaking on products over here. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. It's a great formula, but it's just starting to like leak everywhere. So I'm getting rid of it. This is a beautiful lipstick, liquid lip from Jouer, and it's great. It's, I love the formula. This is in the shade Ballerina. Keeping that, my Sigma lip gloss in the shade Enchanted. Oh, I just love wearing this in the summer. Um, I got a lot of use out of this this summer, and I continue to get a lot of use out of it every summer. Keeping that. This one from Physicians Formula. It's uh, SPF 15. And it's a really is a beautiful shade and very creamy. As you can see, it's gorgeous. It was sent to me from Physicians Formula, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it just because I don't right, really wear it. This is a brand new one from Anastasia. This is in the shade Bohemian. It's a beautiful, rich brick red shade. Really love this one. I'm gonna keep it. Two lip glosses from Lunar Beauty. One in the shade Stardust and one in the shade Dreamy. Absolutely love this formula. These ain't going anywhere. Keeping. I will go ahead and declutter this mint melt uh, lip gloss from elf. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong But I actually have another one from Revlon right here that I use It's like a holographic kind of gloss and it's quite beautiful So I don't need to this one is so freaking fun and pretty though from elf as you can see they're two totally different tones so now i feel like i gotta keep both of them <laughs> this is why i don't like swatching stuff out but i'm gonna go ahead and stick to my word and get rid of the elf one and i'll keep the super lustrous one this is the diamond gloss from jeffree star and though i don't support him i do really enjoy this gloss i got this before i stopped supporting the brand it's a beautiful formula so i'm going to go ahead and hold on to it two from morphe that i really enjoy one's in the shade hot shot and this is in the shade virgin now i'm gonna swatch out virgin just to see how the formula is it's actually starting to smell a little bit like play-doh so when your shades start to the smell starts to change a little bit is usually a sign that it's going bad so i'm going to get rid of virgin let me smell hot shot now hot shot actually smells really nice and sweet still like vanilla cupcake so this one is still good thankfully because i do love this shade here's a really pretty peppermint pout from pop beauty that was sent over still brand new in the packaging I'm actually gonna put this one over here to declutter so i can give it away because it's never been opened or swatched or anything it's actually pretty purple shade this is one of the viral glosses from queen's cosmetics this is in the shade super nova and i did go ahead and order some more of these these are insanely beautiful you guys when i tell you the freaking sparkle on these is like on a whole other dimension and out of this world brand new hemp infused gloss they're so beautiful so sparkly and you don't feel the sparkle or chunks of glitter or anything so i'm definitely holding on to this and i can't wait to get the others here's a lip tint that i actually just found over here that i forgot to grab it was sent in one of my boxes, like a glossy box or something. Really pretty, but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it because I just know I'm not going to wear it. Couple of my Too Faced Melted Mattes, one in the shade Bottomless and the other in the shade My Type. Now I get a lot of use out of these. <laughs> I wear them quite often. I really, really love the formula and the wear time on these, so I will keep both of those. This is in the shade OG from Persona beautiful shade and i just want to make sure it's still good definitely still good love the shade love the wear time on these as well from persona so i'm gonna hold on to that i'm keeping so many <laughs> 
This is the OG Baddest Beige from Maybelline. Definitely keeping that. I have a couple ultra glosses here and an ultra matte from ColourPop. They actually look like they are either gone bad or they just need to be mixed. I'm not really sure. This one from I Love Set of E is in the shade Coco, which is actually a beautiful brownie shade. I'm going to keep Coco and I'll go ahead and get rid of the Moonchild gloss just because it is looking a little bit questionable. It's very pretty, but I've had it for a while. So I'll keep declutter that and keep that. My Urban Decay hi-fi liquid shine in the shade snitch is very very beautiful color gloss but it's doing the same thing it's starting to like leak out the sides a little bit so sadly i'm going to declutter her this is the fenty beauty stunna lick paints these have great wear time but oddly enough i just don't get a lot of use out of her it sits and it sits and it sits and I never ever wear it. So I think I'm just going to let it go, you guys. I don't wear it, so I don't need to keep it. It's beautiful. When I swatch it, of course I want to keep it now, but I don't wear it. So it's going to go ahead and declutter it. Okay, actually what I'm going to do next is show you guys. This is the entire lipstick collection from Nova Beauty. Now it is a new makeup brand that Fashion Nova launched and they were so kind enough to send over their entire lipstick collection. I'm sorry it's a little contrasting because of the light right now, but I did just want to go ahead and show you guys this humongous PR package of all these beautiful lip liners and lip glosses and bullet lippies that they sent over to me so I can get it out the way. I can't let go of any of these, you guys. I honestly don't have the heart to declutter this yet just because they are brand spanking new. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to the entire vault collection from Nova Beauty. So excited to have this. Okay, moving right along. Up next, we have this one. This, I don't even know how to pronounce the brand, but I know I did want to keep this one. Last year's declutter because I like the shade and I don't have too many like pinky shades like this. I still kind of feel that way I still feel like I need to keep it because I don't have any pink shades like this but I also feel like I don't need to keep it just because I don't wear pink like this so I'm actually gonna go ahead and let it go this year this is flush punch from Maybelline it's brand spanking new I picked this up on somebody's recommendation I don't even know who but I'm just gonna let it go because I don't wear it same with this Milani it's a beautiful shade I am worthy wow that's pretty <laughs> holy crap is that pretty i actually think i'm gonna hold on to this one for a little bit longer and possibly see if i can't get some use out of her my sigma renew lip oil this is brand spanking new sigma went ahead and sent this over to me it's such an incredible honor to be a part of the sigma fam so i cannot let that go this was sent to me from Fenty. It's a beautiful shade and I really like the interchangeable packaging. Sorry that it's blurry, but I will go ahead and hold on to this as well. It is newer to my collection. Now this entire collection that is supposed to be like a dupe for Kylie Cosmetics lippies, I'm just gonna go ahead and let it go. It's from Beauty Glazed, but I haven't worn it since I kept it last year. It's just sat in here literally, so I'm gonna let it go. We have this pretty shade from grande lips and it's actually leaking as you can see there so that's just a tall tale sign to me that i know the formula's going bad it's beautiful because it's that purple shade that i say i don't have but i just don't wear it either so i'm gonna go ahead wipe this down somehow so when i go to put it over here in my pile it doesn't leak onto my thing i have laid down here so i'm gonna declutter it this is another one from ColourPop. it's secreto it's really pretty. All these beautiful fall colors I want to keep. I'm going to hold on to it. <laughs> this is a newer one from NARS that was sent over. And it's brand new. I'm going to keep lots of keeps, you guys. My two Huda Beauties I'm keeping. I get lots of use out of these. 
my two Maybelline Lift Year glosses. I get lots of use out of these. Keeping this Diamond Lip Plumper from Physicians Formula is a beautiful lip gloss. Keeping that. This one from Bare Minerals, the Marvelous Moxie. I think I'm just going to go ahead and actually let this one go. Sorry it's blurry, you guys. It's really pretty gloss, but I just have so many. So I will go ahead and let it go. Trying to speed along here so that this video isn't going to be so long for you guys. We have two here from Anastasia that I didn't even realize I had two of. <laughs> I don't know how I got two here from Anastasia. But one is in the shade Sedona and the other is in the shade Kiss. So I actually think I'm just going to keep one and get rid of the other. This is from l'oreal it's like their gold collection that they had a couple years ago man is that pretty you guys can't really see it but that is beautiful gold shade but look at that it's so beautiful you guys oh this is the problem when i swatch stuff out oh man but i'm gonna get rid of it just because i don't wear it it's in the shade beige gold oh is that pretty i gotta let it go <laughs> this is another one from it's like a lip balm tingle balm guava pulp from l'oreal paris it's like a lip balm but i don't need it so i'll let it go this one is brand new from Ace Beauté. They were kind enough to send this my way. It's a beautiful color gloss. Brand spanking new, so I'm holding on to it. Here is one from Revlon. Another real pretty gloss, but I'm just going to get rid of this one. I have so many. This is a beautiful glowing lip gloss from L'Oreal. It's pretty though, so I will hold on to this one for a little longer. My two from Tower 28, the Milk Lip Jellies. Love this formula, so I'm going to hold on to these. We are starting to kind of get to the bottom of the bin here, so that's a positive. <laughs> Let's keep going. Now I have a couple few of these glosses that were sent to me from the brand uh, Le Moriso, and it's the same thing happening. As you can see, I don't know if that's just a result of them laying on their sides as to why they kind of leak like that, but that's a shame because they're so pretty. And the thing is, I know they're not that old. These were just sent to me last year, I want to say. But the two that are leaking, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. And then I will hold on to the three that are not. They're not leaking. They just kind of got it from the aftermath from one of the other ones, I believe. Let's hope. Because <laughs> I'd hate to keep them and they're leaking. But look at that. Look at how beautiful. These are really great, so I will keep three and get rid of the two. As you can see, as a result of someone leaking on her, this is the Cloven Hollow lipstick. I'm just going to declutter it, though. I just don't really ever wear it. Part of me wants to keep it to support Cloven Hollow because it was sent to me, but I don't really wear it, so... I gotta let it go. Now here's a whole bunch from last year that I decided to keep and here it is another year gone by and I have not worn any of these so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all three of these. Two more from Persona that I absolutely love. This is the Coral Gloss and the Honey Gloss. Really love the formula of Persona so I'm keeping those as well as my only ColourPop lippy stick that I have. This is the only one that I have in my whole collection. It's still very pretty. It smells really good still and sweet, so I'll keep it. It's the only lippy stick I have. Another nude shade, very nude, from Maybelline that I don't need. It's so light you can't even see it, so I'll get rid of that. Another plumping gloss from e.l.f. that is brand new, still in the packaging, Pink Sugar. I actually want to hold on to this one because I do really like the formula of these. I know I bought this as a backup, so I'll keep that. This is Give Me Mocha from Wet n Wild. It's the liquid matte formula. Let's see how it looks swatched out. It still appears to be in good condition. I like it for the fall, so I'll keep it. 
Another gloss from Revlon, super lustrous. I'm gonna go ahead and probably just declutter this as well, just because I have a couple few of these. And this one is Sandstorm, I believe. Yeah, and I don't really ever use it, so I'll get let it go. This is a couple here. This is the Pink Peony from e.l.f. I really do like this one. I'll keep that. As well as, actually, I'm gonna get rid of Pink really hard. This is Pink really hard from Wet n Wild. It's a real pretty pink shade. <laughs> Why do I swatch them? I'm gonna keep it. I don't have many pinks. Yeah, right, Rose. <laughs> and this is one from Pop Beauty Peppermint Pout Butter Babe. Oh, is that pretty? Oh, you guys, the struggle is so real. My freaking keep collection is ginormous, but at least we are getting rid of some. So um, I'm gonna declutter it. Now these three came in a Christmas collection that I won in a giveaway. Here's the shades. Last year I decided to go ahead and keep, you know, these. The formula's kind of going off a little bit. As you can see, they're patchy. Yeah, they're kind of patching up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, these are from Ulta Beauty but I'm just gonna go ahead and let go of them. Here's one from Jeffree Star Calabasas that I didn't even know I had. <laughs> Man, that's pretty, I'm, I'm keeping it. I mean, I gotta admit, the guy can make an incredible formula of products and that is pretty, so keeping that. This one from AOA, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. This is a really neat lip gloss, it's from Artistry. It has a light underneath of it for when you use it. It's actually a pretty orange gloss. So there's a little light underneath the lid here. You won't be able to see it right now, but it's supposed to light up in the dark and there's a little mirror as well on the back. So cute. I'm gonna continue to hold on to this gloss because I do really like it. Up next, we have a couple from, one is from Essence and this is the Fairy Floss from ColourPop. The really pretty pinky beigey gloss. This one is is just a liquid lipstick that I went ahead and decided to keep last year but just never really wore. It's a pretty color but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the essence. I guess keep the gloss for now though I'm probably not gonna use it again but we'll go ahead and keep it. Here's another one from the Ulta Beauty that somehow crept in here and I didn't see so I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. This is the Jeffree Star Calabasas. I really, really like this shade. It's such a fun summer shade, so I'm gonna hold on to it. This one somehow crept back into my collection last year after I decluttered it. I think it's just because of how pretty and like whipped the texture of it is. And when I swatched it out, I really liked how pretty the shade was, but it just sat here all year. So I'm gonna go ahead and finally let it go and it's gonna stay decluttered. <laughs> this is the CoverGirl Cream Lipstick in the shade Decadent Peach. And I really, really enjoy how creamy and beautiful beautiful this shade is. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and continue holding on to her. This is one from Ofra. Again, it's been in there and I have not ever used it or worn it. It's such a dark vampy shade and I did keep a couple dark shades. So sadly, it's I'm going to go ahead and let it go. This is the Dose of Colors Stone Liquid Lip. Beautiful cool tone shade. Absolutely love Dose of Colors. So definitely going to hold on to her. This is such a beautiful, fiery, rich red shade from OMFG Cosmetics and I do really like it. It's in the shade Boss Babes. For now, I'm going to go ahead and keep another cream shade from CoverGirl. Beautiful, fiery red shade. Stunning, very creamy, very beautiful shade. And I'm going to go ahead and continue holding on to her. Getting down to the last couple in my big lipstick drawer, which is exciting. This is another one from Maybelline. This is in the shade Spiced Mauve. It's really pretty and creamy. Ooh, this is why I don't like swatching things because I was gonna have it in my mind to declutter it, but upon swatching it, I wanna keep it but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let it go. This is from Wet n Wild, the cat suits. This is the shade Nudist Peach. And I'm gonna go ahead and just finally let this one go as well. This is one from Stila that was sent over. Beautiful shade. It's actually newer to my collection. Look at that. It's a very, very pretty cool tone shade. I wanna keep a couple cool tones. Because it was gifted, I will go ahead and keep it as well. This is from Woosh Beauty. It's like a roll on gloss. I just don't ever wear it or use it and it's kind of a thick 
gloss so it's like goopy and really really thick so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it. Two of the Lux lipsticks from Colourpop. One in the shade Trapeze and the other in the shade Come On Sis. Both very pretty. The formula is really, really nice. I really do love the Luxe lipsticks from ColourPop. I don't know if they make them anymore. I think they do, but I'm keeping both of these. The formula is still really good. Here we have a couple from Flower Beauty. One in the shade Melon Pop and the others in the shade Rosewood. I do really like both of these. So the formula is like that real velvety whipped creamy texture so I'm keeping both. A beautiful vibrant red shade from Sigma. I just don't have the heart to let go of anything from Sigma. It's one of my favorite brands so keeping. <laughs> I'll go ahead and let go of this one. It's from AOA and it definitely seems like it's going bad anyways so I will let it go. This is the mannequin from Jeffree Star. Beautiful nude. Definitely keeping. And then lastly in this bin we have the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Gloss. I'm just going to go ahead and let it go. Okay, so this is the last that we have to go through of my lipstick collection in its entirety. So <laughs> I'm glad we are finally nearing the end. And I hope that, you know, with the power and magic of editing, I can kind of shrink this video down to size a bit so that it's not excruciating long for you. If I can go through and speed up some of the process of this, uh, the remaining of this, I will. But let's just go ahead and dive on in here. Right off the top is a brand new one I picked up from... Jeffree Star and the reason being is because I've really been on the trend of trying the darker lipsticks with the Queen's Cosmetics glosses over top. So that's why I have both of these. They're newer so I'm holding on to both and I've really been into fun colors like this lately for some reason so I'm keeping both. Now I have two here of these lip glosses as you can see they are very similar. One is from Revolution and the other is from Fenty and this is the this is the original fussy it's actually almost gone so I'm gonna go ahead and continue holding on to it it is kind of doing that thing on the side here a little bit I don't know what it is with that and why certain glosses do that and this one is from revolution and it's in the shade exquisite which I mean literally is quite exquisite so I do really enjoy both of these glosses so I'm going to hold on to both of these. A couple from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I'm going to go ahead and hold on to. This is the Venus Gloss and it's actually almost gone. As you can see, it's kind of scraping the edges. So I'm going to hold on to it and continue using it. And I really enjoy her liquid lipsticks as well. Another one. This is the shade Stripped. She's a classic, beautiful shade, keeping her as well. Now a lot of these that remain are going to be keeps just because the ones over here are on my vanity like I have these clear plastic organizers and they're on my vanity for looks because they're like the matching sets and stuff that I own. So pretty much probably all of these I'm going to keep. We'll see. I'll still go through the majority of them with you but just letting you know disclaimer I'm going to probably keep a lot of this stuff. Too Faced Lip Injection. Love this gloss. The tingle on this is actually not too bad. I do quite like this. So this came in a boxy charm, so I'm going to keep it. The Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousses are incredible. This is the only one I have. It's in Fluffer Nutter, so it's newer. I'm going to keep it. Now this one from Pinky Rose, really the only reason that I, des I decide to keep this one year in and year out is in hopes that... I can use it. Now I've gotten rid of some of my other bold colors. As you can see, this one is very even upon swatching and it's a beautiful purple shade. So, you know, again, I'm into fun colors lately, so I think I'm gonna hold on to it. This is a Revolution Beauty. This is the Awaken and it's supposed to be a dupe for I think one of Charlotte Tilbury's. It's beautiful. I really love how creamy it is. It's a great lipstick. Keeping my Sigma lip crayons. Definitely keeping. I love these and again they're from Sigma so <laughs> I can't let them go. Now this one I ended up holding on to. It's from Kaja. It's where it's got the lip liner and the lipstick on one end and the lip liner on another. 
but I think I'm just going to go ahead and let it go. I kept it last year because it was a really nice brown shade, but I still haven't really ever used it, so I will let it go. This is a Beach Cosmetics liquid lipstick. I'm not even going to swatch it because it'll make me want to keep it. I'm just going to go ahead and let it go. This is a really pretty one from Essence. Very hydrating, very creamy, super, super creamy as you can see there. But again, I just don't wear it. So instant care lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. These are the Maybelline ink crayons. These are really great, actually. I really do enjoy these. So I'll keep this one. Now I have four of the Revlon lip vinyls. If you guys don't know about these, these are amazing. So beautiful. Now I do have these three seem to be similar shades. So let me see if I can't, especially these two, <laughs> let me see if I can't possibly let go of one of the two. See, but this one is a lot darker. These are amazing, you guys. I really, really love using these and have gotten quite a bit of good use out of them. So they look similar outside in packaging but upon swatching them they are extremely different shades one is in the shade date night and the other is in the shade birthday suit and i do really like both of those so i'm probably gonna keep all of these let me swatch this one out it's a very pretty pinky shade this one is in the shade act natural i think i'm just gonna go ahead and let go of this one so that way i at least downsized a little bit and i'm keeping this one as well now I have two of the Physicians Formula lip crayons and they are both in really fun colors, but I just don't wear these. I never reach for these. They were sent in PR, but I just don't ever wear them. I think that actually it's time to just go ahead and let these go. They are really great kiss all day formula, but I'm just going to go ahead and let them go. And lastly, in this bin is the Superstay Ink Crayon. This is in the shade Laugh Louder, which is another fun, vibrant shade that I really enjoy. So I'll keep that. Okay, and we have finally made it to the end of my collection here. These are the last remaining ones. And I'm not going to lie, I'm probably keeping all of these. So I'm just going to go through some of these real quick and show you these because I'm gonna keep these. I'm keeping most of these. These are the Bite Beauty lippies that sit on my vanity. I really love Bite Beauty's formula. They're so creamy and good. So keeping as well as the Physician's Formula. These are the Healthy Lip Formula. Now though these kind of smell like paint, paint thinner or something, the formula of these is amazing. So, and they sit on my vanity and they look really pretty. So keeping three of my Urban Decay lippies that also sit on my vanity that are very similar in shades as you can see but they do sit on my vanity so keeping as well as all of my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks and these are the velvet lipsticks definitely keeping these as well oddly enough I'm keeping all of these Kylie's because again they also sit on my clear plastic organizer on my vanity and they do look really pretty sitting up there so keeping these last but not least from my entire collection is these Maybelline Superstay inks I really want to try their new ones that they they just recently released but these are great they stay put all day I don't even want to swatch these because the one time I had a swatch on my hand for a week after swatching these out but <laughs> They also stay on my vanity. So of course I'm keeping. Okay, you guys. Well, we finally made it to the end of the lipstick declutter. Here is my declutter pile and here is my keep pile. Now I knew that my keep pile would be a little bit more than the declutter pile, but we did do relatively well and got rid of quite a bit. So I'm really happy with this progress this year but the declutter the keep pile is pretty huge and then of course we have the Nova Beauties up there what I'm gonna do is go ahead and try to organize some of these lipsticks and come back so I can get everything counted out and then there is Carly up there look at her sleeping oh hi little <laughs> 
so that then I can go ahead and organize and put my keep ones that I'm going to keep back and then I'll come back and we'll have the count as well as what I plan to film um, on my next declutter. So I went ahead and was able to get all the ones I decluttered counted. Here is of course the ones I'm decluttering because I am just going to have to sadly just throw these away because I'm not going to donate or give away any of uh, used or expired lipsticks. So here's my declutter pile and look at this you guys. Here is my keeps. Look at the difference. Like it didn't seem like it was a lot at first. But now that I went ahead and organized and put everything away, this is all that I'm keeping, which is amazing. Now, granted, I do have the ones put away. So I put those ones away. And this is the thing I was telling you about that I like to store the Dose of Colors Urban Decay ones on. Not too bad, you guys. So incredibly exciting that last year when I started this declutter, this tin was mountainous it was full to the brim overflowing there was so many lip products and then of course we also have the nova beauty collection that i'm keeping as well so i figured i would put that in as well but this was so full last year this is the emptiest that i've ever seen it and now this is also gonna go out and go in my vanity drawer so technically if i put that out this is all the lipsticks that I have left in this humongous drawer, which is so amazing because now that frees up room to go ahead and put other things in this drawer. And this is the drawer I'm talking about. Some of the other drawers are kind of full. And, you know, once I work my way down the rest of my uh, collection, like bronzer, blush, and highlights, it'll free up even more space in these drawers. Foundation, base products. I can put a little bit of stuff up top there because there's all this space and it feels really really good and this one goes in the drawer down below yes you guys i'm really really quite happy with the progress and the declutter that we've done on this video in this episode i'm really really proud of this progress so in total i decluttered a total of 71 lippies you guys 71 i'm so happy with that number and i kept a total of 146 lippies so not not too bad and that is including the 38 that are up there from nova beauty 146 in total so even though i still have 146 it sure doesn't look like it like i have a lot of places that i store them like i showed you guys but it just seems like there's so much less product laying around and i could not be more happy about that so for last year's declutter, I kept a total of 157 and I decluttered 87. So I'm still right along the same ratio as I was last year, which I'm really happy about that as well. So for this year, between the 71 that I decluttered and the 146 that I kept, that gave me a total of still 217 lippies, which means I accumulated almost 50 more lipsticks over the past year, which is crazy. So this is why I like to do these declutters every year to really help me get rid of stuff because just as much stuff as I have coming in, I want to try to also push out. Out. So 71 lippies is quite a bit, you guys. So again, I am very happy with that number. We're going to keep on moving down the line with my declutter series. I think next I'm going to do blush just because blush is like all the craze right now. Blush has been trending for a hot minute and I definitely have a lot of blushes that I want to go through and see, you know, how my numbers have changed since last year. Feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see next, whether it be blush, bronzer, highlight, base products. So that's basically everything for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for coming by. And if you watch this video all the way to the end, you are definitely the real MVP because this was a long one. And make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And let me know what do you think down in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by and thank you guys so much for watching this video please don't forget to like it and until next time i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye